Bro, there is no fucking way. Someone made an AP World game. Just so we would study for the AP World Test and actually get a 5 on this shit. And yeah, that's actually pretty crazy. Look, an AP World History Study day Game which contains each unit with its corresponding questions. So someone actually took their notes and actually put it to work so they could actually make a game. Like, that's actually crazy. And this actually might be helpful for us right now if y'all watching this video and we're taking AP World. Because, look, it's April 27th and... I'm pretty sure the test is going to be on May 8th. Well, for me in New York, it is. And that's like in a week or two. Or maybe, or maybe less than two weeks. I don't think it's two weeks exactly. Probably a bit less. So I guess we all got to be grinding this game to actually get a good grade on this test. So let's go and let's see if this shit actually helps. So let's see. Let's see if I'm really smart. I'm going to go to what? Unit 1? Wait, how do I even play this shit though? Because look, this is the creator. Okay. Advanced questions, bro. Oh, hell no. Let's take a look. Nah, yo, I'm, I'm kind of cooked. I'm, I'm not doing this shit, but that shit's mad hard, bro. Are we finna play this now? Let's see. Say the letter of your answer in the chat. Alright, so. Let's see. This is Unit 1. Let's read it. Which of the following best describes. Yo, someone just fucking glitched. And, and now they're saying answers. Fuck, I can't even do this. Which of the following best describes the political structure of the Song Dynasty in China? Alright, bro. This is actually crazy. They deadass made a whole game. And this is an actual AP World question. Like, this is insane. Alright, so you know what? Bro, I'm gonna be honest. I think the answer is... Bro, let, let's try B. Let's try B. And yeah, I knew it is B. Alright, bro. So, like, if you say any other random words from a different game, they fucking give you the answer and you can walk through. So, let's actually try doing this. The Islamic Golden Age is best associated with which of the following cities? And I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of cooked. I think it's B, though. Let's see. It's definitely not A. Let's try B again. And fuck, I got it wrong. We're off to a bad start. Maybe it's C. I know Delhi is definitely not related at all. And what's this? Which philosophy was most influential in the Chinese government? Oh, shoot. All right, all right. This is a bit tough. I'm going to be honest. I low-key got to lock in, bro. Like, dead ass. But let's see. We got four options. Taoism. It's definitely not C. And it's definitely not B. It's either A or B for sure. So, I'm going to try B. And... It is B. What I was what I was I saying? Look, if I type B, it works. So this goes for basically everything on the other maps. Like you see over here? Like basically if you say the answer, if you say A, B, C, D, it's gonna open for each door that's A that's A, B, C, or D or whatever you wrote. Like Bro, that's crazy. Let's see, which of the following best describes the role of women in Song China? Alright, so it's definitely not A and it's it looked like it was C, I think. I mean, B. Because I remember they were talking about foot binding. And yeah, I'm correct. Well, I'm actually low-key locking in. The Delis. Alright, let's see. I ain't gonna lie. That, is it B? Or am I tripping? Yeah, that's definitely wrong. That's definitely not B. I don't know what I was thinking. I think it has to be C. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, bro. Stealing my answer. That's crazy. Alright. I'm actually low-key cook if I can't do this in under a minute. But he got it. And oh, we could do these two. That's crazy. Alright, let's try this. Let's try this. What if I miss? What if I mess up? Am I gonna die? I'm curious. Like, what if I go to the wrong one? Bro, it's fucking... Here, come here, come here. Bro, I, I gotta take the lead now. I gotta take the lead. I don't know, is it this? Oh, okay, I see how they do it. Alright, so if you get it wrong, they set they spawn you back. That's actually smart. So they give you another chance. Alright, let's actually do it now. The feudal system in medieval Eve medieval Europe is characterized by it's literally this. What I say. Which religion spread along the Silk Roads? It has to be Wait, am I back to the start? Or are they asking the same questions again? Oh wait, no. So basically, we have to redo this entire shit. That's crazy. 
We have to get everything right so we would, we would get through. That's actually insane though. So how do we do this now? I think it was this. Fuck. I, I, they're the same. They're the same. And that person just died. Alright, let's see. The bad team. I don't even think my teachers talk about this. I'm going to be honest. Like, dead ass. I don't know which one it is. But I think it has to be A. That's the only one that makes sense. Because I feel like B is like too much. Which factor helped the spread of Islam in West Africa during this period? Alright, so let's see. It's probably... It could be both, I feel like. I don't know. Am I tripping? Because I know trade is definitely for sure, but I don't know about A. A could also be possible in some cases, but I guess it's B. In the Americas, talking about the in Inca Empire, it's related to the Aztecs and shit. And I was able to unify a large territory. Oh, nah, they had like a whole road up system. I remember that. I'm locked in. And what's this? Floating Gardens is Aztec. That's easy. That's not easy. And these, I guess, are just telling you vocabulary and shit like that. Like, if y'all want to pause the video and read it, then you could. But I'm going to just spin through. But I love how it's very detailed. Like, this is actually good. And I made it to Unit 1. Let's go. I made it to Unit 1. I'm locking in. All right, let's try one more unit for this video. Let's try one more. Unit 1 is light now, bro. And, oh, fuck. How am I going to get back? How am I going to get back, bro? Bro, do I really? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm getting back. I'm getting back. I'm getting back. I'm just going to wait for someone to say the right answers and then it'll let me back. Let's see if that works. All right, because it'll open this door and this door and that door. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He here. Bro, it was just one door, bro. This system is so greedy. Damn. We just got to wait for these people to open those and I'm back over here. I'm now going to unit two and this is in the 1200 to 1450. Oh yeah, it's the same as Unit 1. I completely forgot. But this is all about connection, movement, and... I love how, like, if you forget the unit completely, they actually tell you what that shit's about, too. And it's about the Mongol Empire. That's actually not bad. Alright, let's see. The trades. This is, like, in the 1500s, the printing press. So it has to be paper money. Let's see. The Mongol Empire. Ooh. Okay, I, I think it was... Shit. Am I tripping? I think it was A. Yeah, I'm kind of cooked, bro. I remember they have a strong-ass army, though. That's all I'm going to say. But it was here. It has to be this. And that. this actually makes sense now, thinking about it. And this... Wait, what is this? Which of the following trade networks will most depend on monsoon wind patterns? Bro, it's literally the Indian Ocean trade. Monsoon's in the fucking ocean, bro. That's light. Alright, Swahili Coast. Okay, let's see. It was like this. And let's see which reviving and protecting trade along the Silk Road to the 13th. That's Mongol, right? Because the Ottomans, they conquered, what was it called? The Byzantine Empire. Ah, yeah, I'm locking in. See, I might actually have a chance in this test. And, bro, I forgot this. Of course, the last question has to be the hardest. Yo, I deadass forgot, bro. What is Smokerland, bro? What is Baghdad? I don't know. Yo, and... It's pretty solid. And yeah, I completely forgot what Smackerland is, so I have to actually lock in. And we got notes here. This is actually valid, bro. You could dead just write this and study it when you're not playing Roblox or something. Alright, now we gotta do these now. Which of the following? I forgot the other people could control it. Whatever, whatever. Let's actually try and lock in. Because nobody's in Unit 2. Which of the following best explains how the Mongols contributed to the growth of trade? It has to be C. Alright, let's try typing C. And yeah, that's pretty light. He's up there. Somebody's with me. But I'm catching up pretty fast. I'm smarter than them, maybe? Let's see. Which of the following was a major cultural result of Mongol rule in China? Alright, let's, let's see the answers. It's definitely not... It could be A, actually. It's not B. Uh... Alright, let's try A. I'm pretty sure it's A. And fuck. If this was on a test, I would have been cooked. My second guess is D. And yeah. 
I had a feeling it was deep, but I felt like it was somewhere else instead. And oh, this person is talking? Bro, you actually gotta type it. You can't just speak to the thing. You can't just speak to a wall. But hold up, let's see. Why were the Mongols largely unsuccessful in their invasions? Isn't it because of, like, their um, land? Their location, I mean? Their navy was superior? No, I don't think it's A. Yeah, it's C. It, it gotta be C. Oh, God. what I say? Alright, now we got this one here. And it's just notes and some true and false. And that's pretty much it. Alright, that's, that's not bad. Which of the following best describes Mongol religious policy across their empire? Alright. It's not Buddhism. They did not support that. It has to be... It sounds like it's D. Yeah, it's, it gotta be D. Let's try typing D. Let's wait. And fuck. Alright, maybe I'm on something. It might be C then. They definitely did not support Buddhism. And oh, I'm actually kind of cooked. Is it B? Yeah. I'm low-key got to lock in. You, you guys see that? It's whatever. Oh, and no. This is what we were talking about earlier. I didn't know what Samarlan is. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a city in present-day Uzbekistan. That was a stopping point on the Silk Roads between China and the Mediterranean. You see? They know that I'm, I'm going to sell on some questions. And, bro, why they got Genghis Khan twice, bro? Why they got him twice? That's crazy. But now we're gonna play this and what role did caravansary play in i think that's like the vehicles and shit it's like the horses am i tripping but let's do this it was a is that that's what i know because it was for merchants that's the key word there and yeah let's see astrolab and compass it has to be a because how are you going to predict the wind with a compass let's be for real and the city of timbuktu too became an important center of and I'm pretty sure it was B and yeah that's pretty cool I locked in and of unit 2 reset we finished this game it's pretty light it's pretty valid let's fucking go shit mad easy and yeah that's pretty much the AP world game and I'm gonna be honest I actually learned a lot such as like the Mongols being open with religion and stuff and yeah it's pretty cool Play this game, it actually might help help you lock in for the AP test. Because it's hella memorizing, but you know, you're doing it in a fun way. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Safety.